Winston Edmondson here at Hadoop Summit. I'm here with big data services company, Cubol. I've got Hadith Tosu, uh, who's going to tell me a little bit about uh, the difference between a services company and some of the other companies, the competitors that really just offer uh, a singular uh, solution. Thanks for being with us today. Hey, thank you very much. Thanks for having me here. So tell me a little bit about the advantage of going with a services company like yours. So the big advantage is that, uh, you know, you know, big data is a very complex field. There's a lot of uh, moving parts and uh, of, of components that have, have to be put together. So as a services company, as pro by providing this as a service on the cloud, we take care of all that complexity. So really the end users can really focus on their data sets and transformations, which is, which is where most of their focus should be. That brings the maximum value to the business. While we take care of all the you know, uh, things like, you know, what type of Hadoop clusters should I run, or what, you know, what kind of big data services should I run, what kind of workflow engines should I run, all that we can provide as a turnkey solution on the cloud, uh, and you know, abstract that level of infrastructure complexity away from most customers, whereas our customers can just focus on their data sets and their transformations. So when I talk to uh, potential businesses that uh, would use a service like this, one of the hurdles that uh, prevents them from adoption is the fact that it requires so much manpower and so much time. Are you saying with a service like yours, it simplifies it to the point where they can just turn it on and, and go with it? Exactly, that is exactly what we are trying to do, and this is exactly what our service provides. It's a turnkey solution, you log in into the service, and you have uh, right there you know, the best of breed technologies that are useful in, in big data in the form of an integrated platform. So these are not like component pieces here, these are well integrated into a you know, full blown platform wherein you can come in, you know, create your models on your data sets, discover patterns on your data sets, and from those patterns create periodic jobs or batch processing pipelines very easily in a single integrated platform at the level of a data architect, at the level of a data analyst, and not really get into, hey, I need to hire like five Hadoop experts or, you know, five big data infrastructure experts to put this stack together. You can just use us. It's a turnkey platform. You create a login and start using it. Talk to me a little bit about the folks that have uh, multiple data sets and feel as if there's really going to be no way to combine all that and get any kind of useful data. What can you do for those types of uh, businesses? So we provide in our, um, uh, in our platform a lot of connectors to various sources where, which they can use to bring those data sets in a single consolidated place. And once that do, that is the harder part of the problem. Once you do that, after that it becomes much easier. The platform, uh, you know, we are of course leveraging Hadoop and Hive Hive is a technology that we had, you know, myself and my co-founder had created back in Facebook, back in 2007. But we are leveraging those technologies together, um, along with the connector uh, strategy, which helps bring data in from various different sources and combine them together. So we get data out from sources, uh, any RDBMS we can get data out from, any uh, NoSQL databases such as Mongo we can get data out from. We are working on connectors to REST-based services, which can get it out from uh, you know, services such as Google Analytics or Omniture and things like that, or for ad tech world, app nexus data and things like that. So by those connectors, you know, people can easily get data out from those uh, sources, do that periodically, do it in an incremental fashion, and then with the processing power of the engine itself, they can start transforming that data. So there's hope, no matter how complex and how many different sources, you guys can sort that out and get it into a simplified uh, kind of a one one data set solution. Absolutely, a consolidated data set solution. Right. There's, there's going, going to be multiple data sets, yes. but a place where all the data sets are together, you can explore them, you can correlate them very easily in a in a single place, as opposed to figuring out, hey, uh, you know, where should I get my data sets on? Is the data arriving on time or not? Uh, how do I you know, pull the data from this particular system? How do I write a connector for this other system? All that is consolidated in the platform. Add that to the power of Hadoop and Hive, you get a, a killer application there. Let's talk to customers that uh, feel like they have a need for speed. They, they want to increase the speed because that's a complaint that uh, some of these processes are very time consuming. I understand you guys have made some really impressive advancements uh, in terms of speed. Yeah, so we have uh, invested uh, in making uh, these stacks run really well on the cloud and we have invested in making them run fast on the cloud. So we have put in things like caches to increase the speed and so on and so forth. Uh, to the degree that when we compare uh, this with some other uh, you know, uh, Hadoop on the cloud services, uh, we are uh, on TPCH, we are like four to eight times faster on many queries. Now, does that get you into real time? Probably not. Does, is it much better than you know, what you know, raw Hadoop supports? Absolutely, yes. 
And I think in the community itself, we are seeing a lot of development in terms of speed. You know, there are a lot of projects which are coming out. There is work being done on Hive itself to make it faster, which we are going to also bring in into our service to further increase it. But yes, if you just compare raw Hadoop, uh, you know, just running Hadoop version on the cloud, we are on an AWS cloud, you know, EC2, and you compare it with us, it's much, much faster. Very nice. Let's talk to uh, some of the CIOs that are out there. Uh, they don't really care that it's cutting edge, that it's trendy, that everyone's talking about it. They want to know about the bottom line. Uh, you know, is this going to make or save me money? Uh, let's talk about those those dollars. What what have you seen in in terms of savings that a solution like yours can can do? So there are a bunch of things that uh, you know solutions like us can really help. Primarily because uh, you know I'll give you very simple examples of you know how cost savings. There are some tangible actions that cause cost cost savings. So on the cloud, you're running servers and you get built by servers. In a solution like us, we abstract that away from being a manual process, like how many servers should I run, how big of a cluster and things like that. The, the software does it adaptively to demand. What that means is that you're running optimal size clusters. So you're, getting, you're, you're paying optimal amount of costs uh, for running those clusters. You're not running a you know, 100 node cluster, whereas you just need a 50 node because your demand, you know, uh, the, you know, the, the cluster demand was just 50 nodes. We scale that. So you know, that helps in you know, keeping the costs bounded. At the same time, all the improvements that are being done also, you know, in terms of speed and stuff like that, they also help in bringing the cost bounded. But the bottom line, it's not just about the cost. It's about, uh, you know, this technology enabling you to do things which are not possible before. You know, if you're talking about log data, if you're talking about unstructured or semi-structured data, if you're talking about JSON logs, and you're talking about combining that with like transactional data, you know, you have to start looking at these technologies because the price performance ratio here is much better than what you would do with traditional stacks. So that is one part of the technology stack that we have chosen, which makes that useful. And the other things that we have done around auto scaling and, you know, optimal management of clusters and, you know, automating that and moving that away from manual control to more optimal machine control also helps reduce, increase utilization, I would put it that way. So you can get more done within the same amount of uh, work. Let's uh, let's help some customers kind of have that aha moment where they really get it. I want I want you to help them understand just what what some of these solutions could make possible. Uh, give us just a, a scenario that you've seen, or just one that potentially you could see that uh, your your solution makes something happen that really before now wasn't possible. So uh, there are a lot of scenarios like this. I will give you a very simple example. This is you know something that we demo as well. Uh, you know a lot of customers have Twitter data and suppose you want to do sentiment analysis on Twitter data, you know, in the past you would have to look at very, uh, you know, there are two characteristics here. One is, you know, it's just sentiment analysis, which is completely unstructured data. You know, these are like tweets from people and what people are talking about. The second aspect is there's a lot, lot of data. Uh, a solution like us can do that very easily. You know, you, you know uh, in Hadoop and Hive, we have uh, operators which help you to do sentiment analysis and you combine that with the raw power of the platform, you can do that very easily. Another example is a lot of our ad tech companies, uh, you know, some of our clients in ad tech world, who are collecting data from uh, ad impressions shown across various properties on the web, also have a lot of big data sets. And imagine, you know, trying to process those data sets or b developing models uh, on those uh, data sets in in a very traditional stack. It doesn't scale and doesn't work. And with a technology like us, they can do that. And you know, before before us, you know, there were barriers that they had to develop expertise in these technologies. Whereas that barrier also is taken away, so you can just use this turnkey platform, and then you know, start using it. So they can just run with it, and uh, that manpower that previously was required, they can have them on on a, a different project and, and focus on their core business. Absolutely, that is what our that is what our basic USP is. Pretty exciting. Let's talk about just kind of your background. When you were working on some of these uh, technologies back at Facebook. What was your inspiration? What were you, you know, what what were you thinking when when you were working on some of these things? So, uh, so we actually started the Hive project at Facebook, both me and my co-founder. So, I'll tell you about what the inspiration was. The inspiration from day one was, how do you bring? So, let let me backtrack a bit. So, around that time, Hadoop had just emerged, and now we had at our hands this extremely powerful computing platform. However, we also had a problem that most people didn't know how to write MapReduce. So from day one, our solution was like, how do we make bring this power to the masses? SQL was the first step. So we, you know, did Hive, and that expanded out the use cases. Then we, you know, took it a further, uh, you know, two steps forward, saying, okay, apart from Hive, let's develop all these tools around 
this uh, you know infrastructure which makes it even easier for people to consume uh, and you know that was you know that that got us going really well you know at that by the time we left we, we had about 25 petabytes of compressed data that was being managed by those clusters we had uh, lots of you know almost 25% of the company hitting those clusters uh, and that was really successful it helped make that company really data driven uh, as opposed to not being data driven and this is exactly what we want to do for other businesses by doing this in a turnkey manner in kubol you know building a very similar stack on kubol uh, on the cloud we enable most businesses to become more data driven because it becomes easy for them now to use the power of these platforms whereas it was not previously now i'm confident just because of your background and and uh, the way you, that you help develop hive that uh, you in particular probably have a good uh, sense or, or you have the, you know, the, your finger on the pulse of this industry and, and where it's moving. Uh, I would imagine you might even be working on some solutions that are uh, beyond where we are right now. What excites you? What do you see in the future uh, as far as trends and, and where is all this going? Uh, I, I think there are phenomenal trends going on. You know, I've followed this, uh, the Hadoop ecosystem forever. And uh, you know, every year I see a lot more adoption, a lot more people talking about it. So uh, the, the biggest trend to me is how do you democratize this technology? To me, it's still a very, uh, you know, a technology which is, people are now familiar with it, but they are probably not uh, comfortable using it. So the biggest trend is, you know, how do you democratize this technology? And democratization comes through two uh, ways. One is easier interfaces. So you now you see a lot of people putting SQL on top of Hadoop. We did that with Hive and a lot of other people trying to do it. Democratization also comes with expanding the use cases. Uh, so now people are talking about speed and, you know, how, how can we make it faster and exactly. things like that. Fantastic. That's uh, some great information here. For folks that just want to tune in and get more information from you, what's the best way to contact your company or get in touch? So you can uh, register for uh, uh, for Kubol. Uh, it's at www.kubol.com. You can also call it call it as uh, at Hadoop Help. You know, I have the number. Let me just... <laughs> uh, so we just got this number. Uh, One eight five five Hadoop help. That's us. Uh, and uh, you know, you can uh, you know, if you want to use a stack, you can just register for a free trial. We also have a free free tier, uh, which you can use if your usage is uh, under a certain amount. Uh, but either way of the you know, either of those uh, ways, you can get uh, introduced to the company and start playing around with the software. Fantastic. Eight five five Hadoop help. That's Winston right. Edmondson here, Studio B. Thanks for your time. Right. Signing out.